beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. Um, so I often tell this story about my hair. Um, almost every time I see a new client I tell them my story because most people have the same story. Um, most people get extensions because their hair is damaged and it won't grow. So I decided to share my story with uh, all of you so that way hopefully you can learn a little bit um, from my experience, avoid all the wrong things that I did, and if you are in my situation, learn how to uh, bring your hair back to health. So a few years ago, I was bored one day at the salon and um, I decided I was super bored of my hair. I've had long black, pretty black hair for like 11 years straight. I was totally bored. Mind you, I was dyeing my hair myself, um, box dye, because I figured it's black, it's so easy to do, why not? For 11 years, okay? So just to give you some perspective of, of how my hair was. It was in good health at the time. But I was bored and I decided I wanted a perm. Um, naively, even though I work at a salon and I should know that most of the time perms don't turn out the way you want them to. Um, but I got, got a perm and it was really, 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 really curly and just made my already curly hair look frizzy. I thought it would change the curl and try and, you know, make it a little bit softer. Didn't work out anyways. Regardless, I hated it. Um, I was very scared to leave the house. Um, it was ugly, as well as the fact that my stylist kind of left it on like a few minutes too long, which if anybody knows what that can do, um, perm left on too long is just bad news. So my ends were really dry and frizzy. Anyways, long story short, it was horrible. So then I thought, well, I gotta do something, and I really hate my now black and really frizzy curly hair, so I'm going to um, bleach it. I don't know. Bad advice, silly things, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, long story short, I bleached my entire head multiple times because it wasn't working. So finally I got to like, you know, the nice orange bronzy color that you get once you lift, try and lift box color and make it blonde. Um, and it's funny enough though, the bleach kind of counteracted the perm and gave me straight hair again. I don't know how that worked, but my, my perm was gone. So. That's okay, so now I have orangey hair and I kept trying to color on top of it because I was trying to get rid of the brassiness. Um, it was very difficult to do. Every time I washed it, it would like the color would fade out and I'd get that orangey undertone. So the, I wasn't happy with the color and I wasn't happy with my hair anymore because it was so fried from the perm and then the bleach and then like 10 colors. It was just a mess. So I ended up chopping it because I know that you can't really um, save hair once it's damaged. So I chopped it and it was like to here. And I'm sure if you guys have long time watchers, you've seen my hair transformation. I was happy with it at one point because I was wearing extensions and I was able to kind of um, cover it up, but really my natural hair was horrible. So what I did was I just went a bit darker again. Um, and uh, like I kept it like a dark brown and I did not touch it anymore with heat. I washed it once a week. I conditioned the crap out of it. I was constantly um, using um, really good conditioners and leave-in treatments and um, giving myself like uh, like really super treatments. Like I would put a uh, very good conditioner on and put myself under the, the dryer for a bit to, just to get the heat really activating and making it soft again. And, it, and I mean it helped. It, it was definitely good, but I kind of had ugly hair for like at least a year and a half. I never styled it, I never, unless I absolutely had to because I was going somewhere. But I could probably count the amount of times on my hand how many times I used a straightener or a blow dryer. So um, I just left it natural, I scrunched it, and I just allowed it to grow out. Finally, it got to the point where it was long enough, I was happy, finally grew out. And let me just mention that I did constant trims. Um, I know that most people hate trimming their hair when they're trying to grow it but it is important to cut the dead ends off because as soon as your hair splits as you guys know if you've watched my videos as soon as your hair splits um, it will break and then it'll continue to get shorter so I was smart enough to give myself some trims um, not myself I went and I got it done um, and uh, finally it probably did take about a year and a half at least to grow past my shoulders again then what I did was I smartly 
lifted my hair again and I used um, something called Olaplex mixed it in my stylist mixed it in with the color and we uh, we finally were able to lift it a couple of shades so now I have this auburn color which I love and um, and it's healthy again I mean the ends are a little bit dry from even with with the Olaplex it is a little bit dry but it's totally manageable and with constant trims I'm sure I'll be able to grow it out um, so I guess the the biggest tip I could give you is don't bleach your hair um, from black and if you have to do it super slowly and don't leave the bleach on too long if you're gonna perm your hair don't leave the perm on too long um, or just don't perm your hair they don't work they suck these days like there's there's so many other ways to style your hair to get curls you don't need to perm your hair um, and then if you are in the damaged uh, situation already, the best thing to do is just no heat. No heat, no heat, no heat, no styling. Um, just find a way to leave your hair natural so that it can finally grow out um, without breaking. And if you do have split ends, trim your split ends often. I would say at least every six to eight weeks. This way um, you'll actually see the growth and uh, your hair won't continue to break. So that's my hair story guys, um, I hope you can learn from it and um, if you have any of your own stories, share them with me. If you have any tips, share them with me um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate, comment below, we will get back to you as soon as we can and uh, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching guys, we'll talk to you soon, bye.